Douglas could bring. And President Trump just approved a disaster declaration for Texas after Hurricane Hannah made landfall. What started as Hurricane Hannah is now Tropical Storm Hannah. But people across the Gulf Coast are still feeling the impacts. The storm's strong winds flipped a semi-truck onto its side, and people had to abandon their cars on flooded streets. All of this comes as South Texas is one of the nation's hot spots for coronavirus, raising concerns about opening shelters. We certainly didn't need this, especially after you know going through a pandemic, what we're going through now. Weather experts say parts of Texas could see as much as 18 inches of flooding as this storm moves inland. Well, as we take a look at Hurricane Douglas, it is considered a Category 1 hurricane. It's moving at about 16 miles per hour in a west-northwest direction. The maximum wind speeds is currently 80 miles per hour. Taking a look closer to home, it's been a beautiful day across the Miami Valley. We've had lots of sunshine, high temperatures climbed into the low 90s, and we are seeing those temperatures starting to fall. We are still pretty warm, though. Hot, uh, temperatures right now right at 80 degrees. That dew point is sitting right at 70 degrees, so it feels very uncomfortable outside. When we take a look at the rest of the planner tonight, those temperatures will fall into the 70s, so it will be a pretty warm night overall. The humid conditions will continue across the Miami Valley. We'll see mostly clear skies, and we will remain dry throughout the rest of the night, and we will also have a dry start to our Monday forecast. So as we take you through this upcoming week, this is what you need to know. We will be timing out uh, some showers and thunderstorm chances to move in as we head towards the afternoon and evening for Monday. And another thing to keep in mind will be the heat indices. They will be climbing into the middle to upper 90s. In some places, it may even feel closer to that 100 degree mark. So it's really important that you stay weather aware as you head into your Monday. Live Doppler 7, we're scanning skies for every 60 seconds. We're quiet and dry here locally in the Miami Valley but if you just look off to our west we have our cold front that's already starting to take shape and it will move into the Miami Valley as we head into Monday. We do have a marginal risk to see severe weather and that is for the entire Miami Valley and what that means is one or two of those storms have the potential to be on the strong to severe side. The impacts associated with the storms will be damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, and when we have the heavy rain, we could also see some areas produce some localized flooding. Let's go ahead and take you hour by hour on Futurecast here. We'll have a dry start to the day. Like I mentioned, sunshine will give way to clouds increasing throughout the day. Scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more numerous as we head towards the afternoon and evening. And the storm chances will gradually taper off as we head into Monday night. As far as temperatures, it will be another hot one. High temperatures will approach that 90 degree mark, and we will be dealing with those storm chances through about the mid-afternoon hours. So not really the best time to get outside, especially when the storms begin rolling through the Miami Valley. And when we take a look at our humidity forecast, it will pretty, feel pretty miserable as we head into Monday. However, one that, once that cold front moves through, that will bring us with less humid air. And you'll really notice that in our temperatures here in the five-day forecast. We just have to deal with the heat as we head into Monday. But then seasonal temperatures uh, will arrive as we head throughout the rest of the week and really stick around. Highs into the mid-80s with a few shower chances for Thursday and Friday. Don't forget to, to tune in to meteorologist Jesse Mack starting at 425 on Monday morning. He's going to have the latest on the storms moving in. Bugatti made a new electric car just for kids, but it's got an adult-sized price tag. It'll cost you $35.